Brothers and sisters, uh, there is kind of ibadah. I wanted to focus uh, on this ibadah this morning, inshallah ta'ala, which is the positive feeling, al-shu'ur al-ijabi. All of us know the hadith of the seven people who will be under the shade of Allah. Ya Rabbi, gather us all under your shade, Ya Rabbi al Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just I want to uh, yani, uh, go deep in this hadith and focus on the feeling and a moment of good and positive feeling could be a reason for any one of us to be under that shade, inshallah. The first three people, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in the hadith, they need to spend so much of their time and effort to reach that level. A, ro a just roller, for example. A person who was uh, chosen to be a leader for a lot of people, and he gave this you know, uh, responsibility its right. Then he will be, inshallah ta'ala, under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A young person who grows up in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means he spent years of his lifetime. Uh, the third person is the one who is heart connected to the masajid. And subhanallah, I was thinking that the iqamah is 45. When I came, the, the, you know, I couldn't find a place to park and said, subhanallah, al -Azim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this gathering witness for us to be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These three, you know, situations, they need a lot of work. Because for your heart to be connected to the masjid, that means you have to come to the masjid every day. Or whenever you have a chance. The last four, ya ikhwani, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us about two people who love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ijtama'a alayhi. This kind of feeling related to the heart and the souls, uh, you can't buy it from the stores. It's something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put it in the heart of the believers. And sometimes the moment you see someone in the first meeting, and you may not see him or her forever, and you find yourself with him under the shade of Allah, al Qiyamah. A moment of good feeling and positive feeling related to the heart could be a reason for any one of us to be under the shade of Allah. Ya Rabbi, wafiqna lima tuhibbu Allah. When I was driving to you, Wallahi ya ikhwa, Allah knows what I'm going to say. I was trying to force my intention to remember the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man zara akhal lahu fillah. If you visit your brother, your brothers, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No dunya benefit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. So a feeling between two brothers or two sisters, the other situation for the people who will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anyone can share the information? Anyone knows? Now we're talking about two people love each other. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person who gives a sadaqah and he tries to hide it from his, you know, left hand. That means he gave by his right hand and he hid it or hidden, you know, the, the sadaqah was hidden from the, the left hand. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us that this sadaqah could be a reason for any one of us to be under the shade of Allah yawm al-qiyamah. I remember uh, a business person. He bought a building or a house and he rented it to a family. They kept paying the rent year after year. After 12 years, they stopped. And he was in another country. He recognized that the first month, second, third, one year, they did not pay anything and they're honest. Then he decided to go and to find out what's going on. He knocked the door, about 10 years old, boy came out, Salaamu Alaikum, Wa Alaikum as uh, where is your dad? He said he already passed away one year ago. Can I talk to your mom? He said yes. The mother came out, a widow woman, with full of haya, 
Uh, he said, I'm the owner of this house, and I was waiting for the rent. She said, so sorry. Our source of income stopped. My husband passed away. We owe you this you know, money, and inshallah, Allah will make it easy for us to pay you. Then he said, I want you to come with me to the court to write that you owe me this, this amount of money. She said, I will do that. They went the second day to the court, and subhanallah, ya ikhwani, you don't know what's going to happen. This owner told you know, the lady, do you owe me this amount of money? She said, yes, I agree, and the witness is there. Then he said, write that you are free from this responsibility. Samahakillah. Not this only. Then he wrote that you, from now on, the owner of the house forever. Ya ikhwani, he already passed away, by the way. At-tijaratu ma'allah. How is your feeling about this person? Imagine when you, you know, heal the hearts of others by anything you have it in your hand. We are leaving the dunya, ya ikhwan. We will leave everything behind. I remember the son who lost his father, and the father left so much of wealth for his, for his kids. Then someone came to him and told him, my son, your father left the dunya, and he did not do the hajj. That happened last year. What do you think if you sent someone to do the hajj on behalf of your father? He said he had the money in his hand and he decided not to go. Now the money is mine. Wallahi, I'm not going to pay anything for him. So back to the, sadaq, the, 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 the third one. Rasulullah explained to us a situation of someone who was called by a woman. She was a beautiful woman. She has a position. And she asked him to do the haram. He said, Inni akhaf Allah. A moment of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hearts could be a reason for someone to be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last one. And my advice for myself and all of the brothers and the sisters. Don't let this to be a habit in our life that whenever we are alone, to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Allah s.a.w. Rasulullah s.a.w. said that there is a, a person or people from this, the ummah of Rasulullah s.a.w. They will come yawm al-qiyamah with hasanat like the mountains of Tihama. I grew up in a city. It's sur surrounded by some mountains. When I heard this hadith, I thought that the mountains of, of Tihama, they're like uh, small mountains like the city I, I used to live. But when I found out that there is like there a lot of mountains next to the Red Sea in Tihama, may Allah make it easy for the people of Tihama and Yemen and Palestine, Iraq, Syria, and every place. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of the Muslims. So he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they will come Yawm Al Qiyamah with Hasanat like the mountains of Tihama and they will lose all of their Hasanat. The Sahaba were scared. Why, Ya Rasulullah, what happened? What is the reason? قال عليه الصلاة والسلام كانوا إذا خلوا بمحارم الله انتهكوها Whenever they have a chance to do the haram they don't hesitate May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all Imagine yourself sitting by yourself in your room or wherever you are and you start remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the tears start coming out with no force This tear could be a reason for any one of us to be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yawm al-qiyamah. A positive feeling could take us under the shade of Allah. And a negative feeling could bring the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards someone. You know the hadith of the lady who kept the cat? A, you know, a negative feeling, qala alayhi salatu wasalam, hiya fi nar. She will be from the people of the hellfire. May Allah protect us all. And I would like to end with this. You know, in Surah uh, Al-Qalam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the story of the uh, Ashab al-Jannah, the owners of the Jannah, or the uh, garden. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the father, and he used to give from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him. The kids who did not have enough iman, uh, they decided after their father passed away, 
not to give to the poor people. You know the story. A negative feeling was so strong to the point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala burned their garden because of that kind of feeling. Imagine they went to sleep and it's their own. They own the, the garden. But because of the positive feeling, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them to lose all of what they had. Imagine someone who goes to sleep at the night time and he has a negative feeling toward his brothers, his sisters, the people around him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify our hearts. نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا وإياكم ممن يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسنه اللهم نور قلوبنا واغفر ذنوبنا واستر عيوبنا واجبر كسرنا وتول أمرنا وعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم اجعل هذا الاجتماع اجتماعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل منا ولا فينا شقيا ولا ضالا ولا محروما اللهم اجمعنا تحت ظل عرشك يوم لا ظل إلا ظلك و نحبكم في الله we love you في الله سبحانه وتعالى don't forget me from your dua may Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless this community and may Allah سبحانه وتعالى give you the best of dunya and akhirah السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما